Optimization is a dark art. I've optimized my fair share of pipelines at my five years at Databricks, and let me tell you my biggest secrets. One, start with your most egregious pipelines. For some people, that's the pipelines that cost the most, but for others, that might be the ones that keep on missing their SLAs. Side note, it's worth mentioning that because something takes less time to run, doesn't mean it's going to be cheaper. Two, just figure out why it takes so long. Sorry. Okay, so that's not very helpful. I'm gonna talk you through with the broad brushstrokes to help you narrow down where these particular issues might be. First of all, are you using the whole cluster? You can use the metrics in this tab to see how much is being used. Click around to see if you can find any bottlenecks. If you have bottlenecks, great news. That's pointing you to what's going wrong. Change the virtual machine that you're using to match the type of workload that you're doing. But maybe this isn't helpful because nothing's scaling the way that you want it to. So three, start checking how or if you're using Spark and Delta. There's a fantastic comprehensive guide that goes point by point of things to check in your workload. Most of the work I've done is zeroing in on which of these particular issues is relevant to you. Four, is there a particular step in your pipeline that's taking a really long time to run? Again, this is great news. It gives you somewhere to focus. Now, diving into the Spark UI is really going to help you here. There's four main things that can go wrong. Shuffle, skew, spill, and small files. And that guide I mentioned earlier is gonna go through point by point and really dive into detail on how to fix each one of these things. And finally, five, I can tell you about optimizing your code, but if you're running things that are completely redundant, could you not? I once saw a pipeline that reloaded every single piece of data in every single day, instead of just adding in the new stuff. And most of that pipeline was just calculating things we already knew. I really, really recommend drawing out the process to see what's going on. And this is particularly relevant if you've inherited some code from somewhere. Now, granted, I have a sampling bias, but by following these steps, I've been able to achieve speedups of on average about 5x. And now you have exactly the same information as me and can do the same. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot on data and AI, follow me for more.